Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Obviously, if you can't tell from the title already, today's video is going to be slightly different from my usual type of fitness content. However, I kind of want YouTube to be a bit of everything. I want it to be necessarily fitness dominated. I do a lot of fitness content over on Instagram and TikTok, so I kind of want this to be like a little bit of a fun like space for me to just experiment with different streams of content. So today is just gonna be this everyday makeup tutorial. I do the same makeup literally day in, day out. If I go out, I do the same thing. I probably should add a little bit more eyeshadow and some eyelashes. And I do tend to get a lot of questions on Instagram and TikTok about how I do my makeup and what products I use. So what better way to showcase it than in a makeup tutorial? Honestly, I've been prepping for this moment for years of pretending I'm doing makeup tutorials in my mirror while I'm just doing my makeup to go down the high street. I am definitely not a makeup artist, by the way. This is just my face base that I love doing that I feel like I've perfected. I don't know whether that's a big headed way, but I just really enjoy how I do my makeup at the moment. I feel like I found my absolute ride or die products and I'll be showing them all through the video. So I hope you enjoy. I promise this color will probably like match up a little bit better in a while. So I have obviously just zoomed you guys in so you can see my face a little bit better. Also so we can crop these orange little mitts out of the way. So before I get into the makeup side of things, I just wanted to show you the face tanning drops that I always use. So these were gifted. Um, these are actually from Tanologist and they are in the color dark. And I pop these in my moisturizer, which is this moisturizer here from V that I am obsessed with. And I do that probably like two to three times a week when I kind of like wake up and see myself looking a little bit pasty. I will just pop some of those in and they're the most natural looking face drops that I've ever used. Just make sure to wash your hands off them. Otherwise you will have orange palms. So when I'm doing my makeup, the first thing that I start with is my eyebrows. So I just like to give those a brush up and I brush them through with this got to be glued men's hair gel. This is waterproof and it stays all day. I get a lot of questions about how I do like my fluffy brows because I can't leave the house without fluffing them up. And this is the secret, it is so good. I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit more just so you can see that brow. That is probably about as fluffed as I get them. Look at how much nicer that one looks than that one already. I feel like it just changes like my face shape by fluffing them up. So I'm now gonna go and do the other brow. It is definitely gonna take some adjusting getting used to the camera being this close to my face, jeez. But the next thing that I'm gonna go in with that I use as a primer is actually the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base. So this is the face base. I saw Molly Mae using this and decided to try it out. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like the smell of it. It smells very orangey and I don't like that. However, I have noticed it does make a difference to my makeup. I do think it makes my makeup sit a lot smoother. Speaking of Molly Mae, that's not beat around the bush here. Who was at Molly Mae's Beauty Works event last weekend? Me. Guys, what the actual hell? Like, I don't want anyone to think for a second that like, th that's like normal life for me. Like, it's hard because I think some people play it so cool and they're like, oh yeah, like, it's Molly Mae's event. Like, you know, it's just like part of part of my job like I cannot play things cool like honestly like being invited to that was such a big thing just to be like in a room full of people that like I followed for like the longest amount of time Molly herself like influencers like Holly Boone who I met who I just absolutely love like and also it's so nice when you meet influencers in real life and they're just as nice as they come across online it's just nice to meet the people that like you've kind of grown up looking at and like watching their makeup tutorials and things like that and then then be just as lovely in person but honestly like it was so much fun yeah it was a really cool experience but yeah it was just such an amazing event and i don't take things like that for granted like i know i'm so fortunate to be even in that room and obviously a lot of that comes down to like you guys supporting me so massive thank you for that so now i'm gonna go in with foundation this foundation is my all-time favorite since finding it i've never used anything else so it is the l'oreal true match foundation that you can just get in Superdrug boots like boohoo.com sell it i am obsessed this i think is my by far my favorite foundation i've ever used and i've tried fenty i've tried giorgio armani i've tried ysl and this 
I believe it's like eight pounds or even like six pound 99 or something like that. I actually have this in two shades, one for like when I tan and one for when I'm slightly paler. I'm thinking I'm a bit of a mixture at the moment, so I might give them a bit of a mix together. The darker one that I have is Golden Honey and then this one is Golden Natural. Just gonna pop these on my beauty blender that I gave a little clean earlier just for this video. And I'm just gonna pop that all over me. I feel like getting to a point where like I am confident in my makeup has been a journey like I oh god I mean what girl hasn't like been through like the absolute what's it stage of life and if I'm looking slightly orange now trust the process so obviously I wanted this video to be quite chatty and interactive and I thought I would kind of talk about a situation that I found myself in this morning in terms of my body image I did do a little post on my stories about this but I just think it's really important to speak about because everybody suffers from bad body image. And like today was no different from anyone else. Like I woke up and just honestly was just not feeling my best self. I've been blending this forever. One reason I was really proud of myself was because I thought about how I used to react to days like that. And I used to react in the way that I would cut out carbs and cut my calories down like drastically in order to just feel better the next morning when i woke up just quickly i'm now going to go in on top of my foundation with the fenty concealer so this fenty concealer is an absolute ride or die product for me i've been using this for years and i'm obsessed and i think it sits so nicely on top of the foundation so usually the way that i would react to those situations is like i said to cut calories cut carbs and kind of like punish myself almost for like having that bad body image day but obviously then I'm messing around with calories and blah 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 and I was just thinking about that this morning and I've not had that feeling at all so despite not feeling good about my body image I've not felt the need or the want to even like cut my calories or cut my carbs or anything like that and I literally just went straight into the kitchen after my check-in with my coach I'd taken all my picture measurements. I obviously wasn't feeling great. I'd literally just grabbed a big Warburton's bagel straight out of the cupboard, popped it in the toaster, chucked some butter on it and just ate it and was like, I'm never gonna give in to those thoughts. Like that's never gonna be a part of my life again. I do the same thing with the other eye. Also, I'm sorry if my talking seems a bit all over the place. Like I am learning to multitask as we go on YouTube. Like with the cooking the other day, I found it so difficult to like talk while I was cooking. Now I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on my chin area and then here as well in my T-section. I feel like I need more coverage here because I do tend to get a bit oily in my T-zone. So I just like to lather it up basically. Also, speaking of my cooking video, guys, what the hell? I did not expect that many of you to be making lasagna. The response to that was, better than I literally could have ever imagined. And it made me laugh so much because I actually have a Snapchat on my phone and it's me crying over the pictures of you guys making them. I think I was a little bit hungover when I posted the video and I just, it blew my mind how many of you were cooking along with the video and making it. And even up to now, like people still making it every day and absolutely loving it. So don't worry, there is another cook along coming very soon, aka next week. And should I tell you what I'm gonna do? Should I leave it for an Instagram post? Mm. I'm just gonna tell you it's fine. So for the next video, I will be making a cheesy cottage pie. That's all I'm gonna say for now, but it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So now I go in with a cream bronzer and I just use this NARS cream concealer. This is in the shade Cafe. So I'm just gonna be using this brush from Peaches and Cream and it's PC25. If you just have like a dense blending brush, that will be perfect for this. So what I do for this and just to get a good contour is just kind of suck your cheeks in, see where your cheekbone lies. And I just apply it almost like just slightly on it and under it. I just kind of keep packing that on until I'm happy. I do work it up into my hairline just so it all blends and up on the forehead as well. Then I just drag any excess kind of around my chin and on my nose. So now we are at my favorite part of doing my makeup and that is cream blush. I saw this on Madison Beer's Charlotte Tilbury tutorial and I've been obsessed with it. And I think cream blush is now one of my favorite makeup products I've ever used. So this is the cream blush that we're using in the shade Pink Gasm. I can't even tell you how much I love this product. I just pop that up along my cheekbones and I'm just gonna grab the other side of my beauty blender 
and blend that all in. And now I'm just going to go and do the same thing with the other side. And I'm just going to pop a tiny bit on the end of my nose. Obviously we do not want to be looking like Rudolph, so I'm just going to pat that in very lightly. And that, so far, is the cream base done. So what I like to do now is just use powders to go over and set everything. I think the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder, I use this in shade 2, which is just a medium shade. Again, I've been using this for years and it's just my favourite powder. I've always tried different powders, but I would just come back to this one every time. It does exactly what it says on the tin and does just airbrush. So I'm not going to be popping this everywhere. I'm just going to pop this over the lighter, uncontoured areas of my face, if that makes sense. So now I'm all powdered up, I'm going to go in with bronzer and I am using another Charlotte Tilbury product. I promise you guys, like these products from Charlotte Tilbury that I use are slightly higher price but they are the best and i'm just obsessed with all of them so this is the airbrush bronzer in the shade three so i'm just going to work this into the areas of my face that we use the cream bronzer for obviously it is slightly bronzed already um so it's just more a case of just like setting it in and blending everything out i am just going to go slightly up and down these sides of my nose with that just so that my nose does blend in with the rest of my face, but not to contour it too much. So now I'm going to be using a MAC blush in PG Keen. I got this years ago. Like you can see how old and tassy it is. And I found it in a drawer when I last went home and it's now my favourite blush that I've ever used. So now that we're done with the cream and the powder base, I'm going to go through, put some product through my eyebrows because they are looking slightly fair at the moment so i use the nyx eyebrow micro pencil in the shade ash brown the, just to go through and do really like fine hair strokes through the brow so now that my eyebrows are done i'm going to go through and do some eyeshadow i'm very basic with my eyeshadow especially if it's just for an everyday look so i'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. This, again, is one that I've had forever. Um, you can tell by how well looked after it looks. Definitely need new one of these sometime soon. So to do these, I'm just going in with a rounded, fluffy brush in with this top right hand shade. Yep, top right hand shade. And literally just drag that all over the lid and all up and then slightly out as well. I The best thing to do for this is just to do a really light touch with it. You don't want it to be caked on too heavy because like I said, otherwise it might just look too much and then it's really hard to blend out. So I actually used to work for number seven, the obviously makeup and skincare company and I worked there for about a year and a half and I loved that job. Like I love makeup, not in the way that I'm like extraordinary at it because I'm definitely not. But I, I just love how makeup makes people feel and I love how it makes me feel when I do it to go out. And I think when you see how much just a little bit of mascara can like transform someone's confidence, it is just so lovely. A lot of the ladies that would come in were slightly elderly um, and they all they did, they just wanted to come in for a chat. And honestly, it was just like the sweetest job, like one that I definitely will always miss. Um, so... Just for my lower lids, I'm gonna go in with another rounded fluffy brush, just a smaller one with this shade here and grab some of the more orange shade on the left hand side and just go under my waterline with that. I like to use a brush color on the underneath of my eye just because I feel like it does bring out your eye color a bit more. So obviously my eyes are quite green. So by using an orange, I do feel like it kind of brings that out a little bit. Now for eyeliner, controversially, everyone keeps saying that winged eyeliner is just not a thing anymore. And I'm not ready to give it up. I've actually been doing winged eyeliner since I was like 14 years old. And I, to be honest, I don't know who I am without it. So it's a trend that I'm going to hold on to probably for the rest of my life. I have tried to just do like a smoky eyeshadow one don't really like it. I don't love the dense black one as much, so I actually picked this up from Collection, which is a brand in Superdrug, and it's just their Extreme 24 felt tip liner, just in their brown color that they do for it. But I have a slightly hooded eyelid on this side, so it just helps to stretch it back. 
The Flicks, however, are definitely cousins, not sisters, and I feel like they're supposed to be sisters, but it's fine. So now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I just always use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my all-time favorite. I've never found a mascara that beats it. It just, it is what it says on the tin, basically. So finally, one little thing that I have liked to do recently is actually go in and use my eyebrow pencil just to dot on some like faux freckles. Nothing too crazy. I never want to look over the top, but I just feel like kind of bringing out the natural ones that I already have. A few of those, and then I'm just going to go in and dab them into my makeup just to make sure they sit in the foundation and powder rather than on top of it. And now I'm going to go in with my Dull Beauty Highlighter. I think this is in the shade Shine Bright, unless that's just what they're all called. This brush from Peaches and Cream, which is PC17. I just pop that on the areas that naturally catch the light. So the top of my cheekbones, the end of my nose, and then my cupid's bow. If I was going on a night out, I probably would do like quite an intense, like in a corner um, highlight, but we're not. So, and then I'm just gonna pop some on the top of my eyebrows. So now for lipsticks, I am going to be grabbing my new favorite lip duo. I found this a few weeks ago and I'm obsessed with it. So again, Charlotte Tilbury, of course. The pencil is in the shade Hot Gossip. I always like to do a slightly darker liner. And now for my favorite lipstick, I get so many questions about this on Instagram too. It is Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Catwalking. And this is my favorite nude lipstick that I've ever found. And I feel like it sits so nicely on this liner. There we go. I feel like lipstick always brings everything together. Then what I would do is just go over the top with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. There we have it. This is my finished everyday makeup look. This is literally how I look every single day. I never really change up. I feel like once something works, I just like to stick with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. Obviously, slightly different from my usual content, but it's been really fun for me to make. So I hope you all enjoyed watching it and they answered any of your questions that you had about makeup products. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, honestly. Every little like and every little subscribe means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much. And I will be back next week with a weekly video and we'll be doing a cheesy cottage pie.